Mamas, um, this is my truly tired makeup routine that I go through on those mornings where I'm just beyond exhausted and my eyes are puffy and I have dark circles and um, on those mornings I feel, watching my cats in the background, I'll talk over them. On those mornings I feel like um, if I wear too much makeup I just look like an old lady. It looks garish because I'm so tired and I'm gray and it just you know, it doesn't work. So, um, even bright lipstick, which they say is supposed to brighten your face, I, I think that if I'm really tired it doesn't it doesn't brighten my face, it just looks bad. So these are the minimum set of products I use on those days where I'm really struggling. Um, I always use a foundation, which I've already put on, and then I use, I call it Barbie blush. This is my favorite. It's by Tarte. It's just, you know, Barbie pink, and I put a little spot on my cheeks. But um, my favorites are um, this primer by Urban Decay. I always wear um, when my eyes are really red and bloodshot because it um, it's just it blends right in. It doesn't look like anything, but what it does is I find like you can kind of see my eyelids get a little bit red when I'm super tired as I am right now. Um, and so if I stick this stuff on and just kind of rub it in, what happens is it covers it covers some of that redness. And my mom wears this stuff too because she's found this was a suggestion from my sister. She's found that it actually covers um. You know, when you get older, sometimes your eyelids get a little bit veiny. It actually covers the veins as well. So you can kind of see. Like, it just sort of takes away some of that redness. Um, so that's one of the things I always do. Um, the other thing I think is important when I'm really tired is to define my eyebrows. Because I do think it kind of brings the eye up and makes me, I don't know, makes me feel like I look more awake. Um, so I have this awesome little eyebrow brush. And uh, the chick at Sephora gave me the best tip for defining brows. She said to start sort of halfway at the brow and do long strokes, like this. Boom. And then you fill in the rest of it with short little tiny strokes. So boom, 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 like that. And then she said you don't look like you have caterpillar eyebrows. Which, you know, I don't ever want to have caterpillar eyebrows. Okay. So I feel like that helps. Um, my other little trick is this stuff, some kind of highlighting cream. Um, I've touched about this, or there's a Dior one too. Um, I like it because it's just a little bit of a highlighter, a little bit of a shimmer. What you do is you kind of just blend it in right here. And all it does is distract the eye away from the dark circles, and it just highlights an area and makes you look more awake. Um, Look at the sides. Now the Dior one is really fancy. Um, I'll, I'll link to that because I know I talked about that in an earlier article. But the Dior one works a little bit better. It just takes longer, so I don't usually use it. Um, but you can see the Dior one right here. You can see the highlighter. And then uh, you can also put it right here. And that actually works really well. Um, lastly, oh, my last little trick is because, like I said, um, really bright lips are super garish. Hey, babe. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, one second, one second. Um, so I use uh, roses, this rose, I don't know, fresh sugar roses lip stuff. And, uh, oh my god. It's like, it's just enough color. So I look like I have a little color to my lips. They're not gray, um, but it's not so much color that I look like I'm like some scary old lady at the cabaret. Um, that's kind of it, you know, uh, mascara. This is my favorite. Oh, I want to show you guys the primer. I had done, I put this on Instagram the other day because I was so impressed, but I wanted to show you both with and without, without the primer. So this is the Scary Primer by Tarte, and it goes on white and looks ridiculously creepy. Um, if you can see the white, it eventually goes away. Um, but the thing that I really love about this primer is this. Seriously, check out these lashes. There's, oh, and of course, I poke myself in the eye and get it all, right, all over my face. That's pretty normal. Okay, so here's with the primer. And then here's without the primer. Um, this mascara without the primer is still pretty good. But, you can, well, you can kind of see the primer extends it with a few more coats a little bit farther. Can you tell? I don't know if you can tell. Maybe it's not as dramatic as I thought. <laughs> anyway.
that's my that's my routine on really tired mornings. So 